back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a mini Sephora haul. Um, I don't have the bag in front of me anymore, it's actually right there chilling on the thing. And just another, there we go, yeah there it is, you can see it, over, right, wait, there, yeah. Oh and quick thing, if you hear loud noises in the background, that's because my husband's listening to music and even though he has headphones on, it's extremely loud, like very loud. I can hear it right now. Yeah, he's sitting over at his computer. You can actually see the gameplay. And, oh, there he is. There he is. Yeah. First thing that I got is, I actually took it out and used it this morning already, but I finally picked up the cute little beauty blender right here. Here's the little packaging that it comes in. Isn't it just so cute? I love it. But yeah, so. Ooh. So I picked up the Beauty Blender, and of course I love it. I already knew that I would. I already knew that it was a great product. Um, and again, yeah, it has some makeup on it and some powder on the other end. But yeah, so here is what the cute little Beauty Blender looks like. So there is that. I'm not going to close it up because um, I already used it and it's damp, and I don't need any bacteria to get inside and start growing in it. So I just kind of like to keep it on top like that when I'm um, when I'm not using it. So yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering about the Band-Aid, yeah, um... I actually explained this in my last video, the how to make a sock bun video. Yeah, I ripped my freaking fingernail off. Yeah, and it hurt really, really bad. Like, I don't think you guys understand. It hurt so bad. But yeah, so there's that. And then next, this is actually kind of funny, but I have a sample of the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this is a sample in Macau. And the reason why I have a sample is because the color that I wanted, Macau, was sold out, of course. And so they gave me a sample to take home so I could use it for a couple of days. But after I tried it out, I realized that it is too dark for my skin. But here is a tiny little sample thing. There it is. So maybe next time you're in Sephora and they're out of the, like your foundation or something like that, in case you didn't know, they can give you a little sample. So you can just ask whatever. Or hopefully they'll offer it to you. But yeah, so you can take that home and just try it out for a few days and figure out if you really like it. But as far as the quality of the NARS, um... All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I really, really like the quality and the lightweightness of it all. And you use your fingers to put it onto your face. But so I'm so I'm definitely gonna go back and get it. But I just need it in a lighter tone. So I'll go with the next one up or down. Up, up be darker, right? Down be lighter. The next thing that I got is this concealer by Tarte. Um, here is the packaging. Cute little box. And da -da 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 -da, let's see. Trying to see like exactly what it's called, but it doesn't really say here. It just says Tarte High Performance Naturals. Um, the color that I got it in is deep. Um, creaseless full coverage concealer, waterproof, visibly brightens, smooths, and hydrates skin. And the great thing about this stuff when I sampled it in the store is that it really is hydrating like it really does hydrate your skin um, it comes on um, not glossy but you know it looks very very hydrating here's what it looks like yeah it's really cute actually I love so I love how this is like a little wooden tip down here and actually it says like ma maracuja 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 Creaseless Concealer. So that's what it's called. I have no idea how to pronounce that M word. So I'm going to call it Maracuja. Maracuja? Is it like Spanish? I'm going to swatch a little bit for you. Put some on my hand. Oh, and it's like the, um, it's like Amazonian clay or something like that. It's really cool. Okay, so here's a little swatch on my hand, right? Yeah. And it's really like, and it's really thick, actually, believe it or not. It's really thick, but it is very, um, very hydrating indeed. I don't even know if you guys can see it anymore now. Probably not, but yeah. So I really, really like this. And actually, I tried it out on my face. In the store, I swatched it on my hand just like this. But then I tried it on my face as soon as I brought it home uh, yesterday. And I don't think I like the color. I think it might be a tad bit too dark um, for my skin tone. And again, this is in deep. So I think I'm going to be returning this and getting the next shade up, down, up, down. The next thing that I got is this NARS, doo -doo -doo -doo, 
Next thing that I got is this um, NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder, and it, it and it is loose. Um, yep, translucent crystal. That's um, the color. And again, I used this already, and I already knew I would love it. I mean, come on, it's NARS for goodness sakes. And it is the loose setting powder, but I love it so much. It gives my face this really, really great matte finish, which is exactly what I like. Yep, so it's just some loose powder up in there. So there you go. So this is just very lightweight and it's awesome. It's such a great chance translucent powder, so I'm really glad that I have that. And then last but not least, I finally decided to pick up the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I kind of tried this out a little bit yesterday, and I'm not a big contour person. I really don't think I need to contour that much because my face is already long. I do like to highlight, of course. I mean, who doesn't? But yeah, as far as contouring, I'm not huge into that. I'll, you know, I'll put some bronzer over here, you know, and up and around and down there. But I don't feel the need to, like, go crazy with it, you know, or, like, buy the, um... The Anastasia um, contour palette or Anastasia contour palette either. I really just don't think I need to. So I figured this would be okay. You know, it doesn't have too many colors. There's only three highlights and um and three um, shading colors. And so at the top for the highlights, you have Lucid, Lyric, and Levitation. And then on the bottom, can we see on the bottom you have Somber, Shadow Play, and Subconscious. So there's that, and I'll open it up for you guys. Okay, there we go. And one of the cool things about this palette is that Kat Von D has this little illustrated tutorial that shows you how to um, contour and highlight, how to define your cheekbones, slim your face, and shape your nose. So here is um, the front of it. It has like a picture of the face when it's all... Um, contoured and highlighted and then as you go down it shows you the colors and stuff like that and gives you a little bit more information about it and how she created it and stuff like that so it's really cool and then of course she recommends that you use her shade and light brush sold separately uh, to achieve your desired face shape and so I don't know if you guys can see this but here is a like really thin diagram of the brush down at the bottom yeah yeah so and then on the back she shows you um how to define your cheekbones, slim your face, and shape your nose. Define your cheekbones, slim your face, and shape your nose. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, these colors are pretty pigmented. Um, the shades and high and the, sh the shades and highlights are pretty pigmented. So you know, I highly recommend that you don't pick up way too much with your brush or beauty blender or whatever you're going to be using to apply it. Um, yeah, so, you know, if I dip my finger in here, see that it's on there pretty good. So, I might want to be a little careful with that. Don't go too crazy with it. Um, I think they're very easy to blend, though, which is awesome. They're very easy to blend. And did I even show you guys the inside? I am so sorry. So, yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. You got your three shades on at the bottom and your highlights at the top. And it even comes with this mirror on the top with Kat Von D's name, and that's really cool because a lot of um, contour palettes don't have the mirror on top. So I thought this was really cool to have the mirror on top, just in case you need to um, do it on the go or something like that. So that is really cool. So I don't know if I'm going to be using the contour on a highlight palette that much, but it's just good to have because every good makeup... <laughs> I was going to say every good makeup artist. Like, I'm a good makeup artist. That's funny. I think every good makeup lover should at least have one contour palette in their collection at some point. So I'm probably going to play with it a little bit more, see which colors I like the most, and see what works best for my face. But again, I'm not a big um, contouring person, so I'll probably get more use out of the highlights. Oh, and another good thing about this palette is that the shaded colors are a lot bigger than the highlighted colors. And I think that's really important because I think people will get more use out of contouring than highlighting because I think that more people obviously use more product when they contour than when they highlight. So it's good to have bigger um, spaces down at the bottom than at the top. So, well you guys, that was it for my mini Sephora haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe for more from me. 
And um, follow my Instagram if you want. My name is at the beginning of the video and it will also be down at the bottom in the description box. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. I know I am so far. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.